Assalamu alaikum. Friends, welcome back to the channel, The Faithful Academy. We are a homeschooling family. We are continuing to read the series, The Prophets of Allah, Volume 2. Prophet Lut alayhi salam. From Babylonia to Palestine. In Babylonia, there lived a boy named Lut alayhi salam. Babylonia was a city in Mesopotamia. The people in this city worshipped idols that they made with their own hands. They believed that those idols were gods. Lut salam with his uncle, Prophet Ibrahim salam, told them that there was only one God, Allah. Lut salam was to become a prophet of Allah. When Lut salam learned about the one true God, Allah, he refused to worship the idols. Lut salam was blessed to use good sense. He heard his uncle ask the people, Why do you worship these idols? Do the idols listen to you when you call them? Can they do you any harm or good? Lut salam thought and thought about the words of his uncle. He was he saw clearly that the idols had no power at all. He understood that they were not God. Lut salam began to believe in Almighty Allah. Even though Lut salam and his uncle told the people again and again about the one true God, they did not obey. They went on worshipping the idols. Allah guided Lut salam and the Prophet Ibrahim salam to leave those evil people who wanted to worship idols. Lut salam said, I will leave my home for the sake of my Lord, for Allah is the greatest in power and wisdom. Lut salam along with Prophet Ibrahim salam and his wife Sarah, and a few people from Babylonia traveled safely to the land called Palestine. They made Palestine their new home. Palestine was a beautiful green country on the Jordan River. Many of the people there believed in Allah, the Lord of all the worlds. Palestine was to become the homeland for many prophets. Prophet Lut salam in is sent to Sodom. Lut salam brought the message of Allah to the people of Palestine, Syria, and nearby places. His faith grew powerful and soon Allah sent him as a prophet to the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. This was a place near the Dead Sea. Prophet Lut salam was sent to teach and to warn these people. The people of Sodom and Gomorrah were not kind and honest. Whenever visitors came to their town, they would rob them. The people even thought it was great fun to hurt other people. They used to stop the travelers from passing on the highways. They were not ashamed to do their evil deeds right in front of everyone. Prophet Lut salam said to them, You are doing evil things that no other people have ever done before. The people did not listen when Prophet Lut salam warned them. They were so evil that boldly, they boldly said, Bring us the punishment of Allah if you are telling the truth. You are surely a people who do not use good sense, warned Prophet Lut salam. Those were the most sinful people. Prophet Lut salam told them, I am a truthful messenger sent to you. You can believe me. So fear the punishment of Allah and obey me. I hate the things you are doing. Prophet Lut salam prayed, My Lord, Save me and my family from the evil they do. Destruction of the people of Sodom and Gomorrah The angels of Allah were sent to the people of Prophet Lut salam. 
First, they came to Prophet Ibrahim salam and Sarah with joyful news. They said, Be not afraid. We bring you good news of a son who will have great wisdom. When they were ready to leave, Prophet Ibrahim salam asked, What is the next thing that you have come about, O angels of Allah? They answered, Lo, we are about to destroy the people of this locality. Sodom and Gomorrah. They do many wrong things. Oh, Lut is there, Prophet Ibrahim said painfully. They answered, We know best who is there. Surely we will save Lut. Everyone in his home will be saved except his wife. She will stay with the people who refuse to obey Allah. Prophet Ibrahim was a gentle man. He asked, If it pleases Allah, will you please save the people of Lut? The angels replied, The order of your Lord has been sent. They will receive a great punishment. It cannot be stopped. The angels came to Prophet Lut with the news about his people. He felt great pain and sorrow because he had no power to help them. He said, this is a terrible day. These people were most wicked and foolish. Right in front of the angels, they did their evil deeds. Is there not one among you who has good sense? Said Prophet Lut salam. The time of the great punishment was near. The angels said, O oh Lut, we are messengers from your Lord. Leave now. Take those in your home and leave while it is still night. Prophet Lut salam and his followers had to hurry. It was almost morning and morning was the time Allah had set for the punishment of those who stayed behind. The people of Prophet Lut salam disobeyed all of Allah's warnings. So... Allah sent a storm of stones on them. All of them were destroyed. Today, this is a place on earth where no plants will grow. It is on a road that is still ruined. Allah wants us to remember what happens to evil people who refuse to obey Allah, to obey Him. Allah tells us in the Holy Quran to loot was given judgment and wisdom. He and his followers were saved from the people who did great evil. Lut received Allah's mercy for he was one of the righteous. Okay, friends, thank you so much for, re for reading along with us the story of Prophet Lut alayhi salam. Please don't forget to subscribe and join us in our next video with reading along the story of Prophet Ismail alayhi salam. Until then, assalamu alaikum.